recent announcement that CBS pharmacies will no longer be partnering with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama for some plans has left many people concerned. They want to know how and where they'll be able to get the medications they need. The announcement affects about 400,000 people. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez is live in the newsroom now. You've been following this, Matt. This is forcing a lot of people to have to find a new pharmacy. Sure, it is. Thousands are transitioning to new pharmacies. I spoke with one Blue Cross member who did just that. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama and Prime Therapeutics is offering a new pharmacy network. It will affect small businesses and individuals who are currently insured under the Affordable Care Act. CVS is not an option in these cases. Corbett Chandler works at Iron Tribe. He says he got a letter in November notifying him of the change. And CBS not carrying them, that's somebody that I'd worked with for, for a, a while um, and uh, been part of their program and, and again had to personally look at making a switch. Chandler says he got his prescriptions from CVS for over a decade and now gets them at Homewood Pharmacy. Ryan Hamilton, owner of the Homewood Pharmacy, said since November they've added around 100 customers. We're receiving a lot of phone calls right now about that, uh, so it's definitely keeping us busy, but we've got plenty of staff, so we're ready for it. A CVS spokesperson says they will continue to accept all commercial plans offered by BCBS Alabama, which are typically through large employers. If a patient is unsure about their plan, they can ask at a local CVS. They say it was not their desire or decision to be excluded from this preferred pharmacy network. And a Blue Cross Blue Shield statement said the new pharmacy networks were made to offset the continuous rise in prescription drug costs and provide their customers with the best medication for the price. And again, as I mentioned, the company will, who, uh, will send affected customers a letter in the mail. If you didn't get one, the changes do not affect you. Live in the newsroom, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.